Now that we've talked about um, increasing, decreasing, constant, and what it means, we have to talk about how we're going to name those intervals, how we're going to know that. And I want us to look at this very first picture here. And of course we have a definition that again is, um, you know, looks a little bit difficult to understand, but we're just going to look at the picture this time and try and see what's going on. Um, we're looking at this interval from here to here in this picture and we can look at this and just see that this part of the graph is going up and then it stops and then it turns around and it starts going back down again. So if I were to draw a line through here I could say that the graph is increasing or going up in this area, in this segment and then it turns around and it is decreasing or going down in this segment. This is exactly how we're going to name intervals of increasing and decreasing. Now that point at which it changes from going one direction to going the other direction, that has a very specific name. When it changes from going from increasing to decreasing, then that tells us that this point is higher than anything around it. We call that a local maximum. We're just going to be calling them maximums. If you <clears throat> if you have to go into calculus, then you're going to talk about absolutes and local maximums. Um, in as far as this material, we're just going to call them maximums, and and that's it for now. All right, now let's look at this second picture over here. <clears throat> Again, we have part of the graph is going down and then it turns around and it goes back up again. So if we were, again, to draw that line, we could say that from in this first section or this first segment here, our graph is decreasing or going down and then it turns around and in this second segment, it goes back up again. Or it increases. Okay, so where it changes from decreasing to increasing, we have this point right here which is lower, smaller than anything around it. This is a minimum. And again, I'm talking about it as a local minimum, but we're just going to call them minimums um, as far as this, this course will be. Okay, we have to be able to identify the maximums and the minimums because that's what's going to help us to identify our areas of increasing, decreasing, and constant. Now there is another thing that we need to talk about specifically. When we talk about areas, uh, intervals of increasing and decreasing, we're saying things like from here to here this graph is increasing and then from here over to here it's decreasing. So we label those intervals using only the x values and nothing else. So that is hugely important. We name intervals of increasing, decreasing, and constant by the x values only. And as another side note, um, intervals are always named using parentheses. Never brackets. Okay, the last two things here and then we'll start, we'll work on some examples. This is extremely important. Anytime we're talking about a location or where something or where a maximum or minimum is, we're talking about the x value only. If you are asked what is the maximum or the minimum, that question is asking you for the y value only. So where is an x value? What is a y value? Very important to keep those two things straight.